Hey everybody, this is Herschel Froome from High School Top 200. This Gisborne Boys Review is brought to you by Fine Line Barbers. Fine Line Barbers is putting on an Aotearoa Barber competition um, next year, 2017, and they've hooked up with a um, major barbering supplier here in New Zealand, and so they're going to be uh, bringing to you this Aotearoa Barber competition for everyone that is around the country. There's no limits to, any, um, to those that want to participate and join in. Um, it will be in September next year. Uh, the upload they're putting up a uh, Facebook page and Instagram page for um, barbers from around the country to upload their work so that us as the public can see them and that they can um, and that we could uh, see what kind of talent we have around the country um, also um, they will have a this will be a one day competition and it, it will bring all sort of the vendors as well as the barbers together and then you know they can start doing their networking and things like that so that we can get to know who our barbers are around the country um so make sure you remember the fine line barbers um vinnie um he'll be bringing to you the altered or barber competition in september 2017 so have a look out for that um i um i was a real fan of um gizman boys um at the beginning of this year and i and i ranked them really highly and i ranked them um I ranked them based on on the talent they had returning and the um, and the potential that they had of the guys that were coming back. And I thought to myself, you know, like, um, and I thought that these guys would, uh, you know, do some real do some real damage. Um, and even in the competition where it is um, a competition where it is really tough uh, really tough to be in um, I still thought that um, they had that team um, that would do the damage uh, they had sort of they had somewhat of a slow start uh, not, not so much a slow start, but um, it just wasn't as convincing, I think. And um, and, and, and this is the reason why I thought um, with guys like uh, like Ford and Sister backline, with they had Austin Brown, who's an up and coming star, they had uh, Tommy Curse, they had Nathan, they had um, you know Moses in backline, like guys like that who are all around. Um, like you take Tommy and and um, and Nathan, who are who are just all round talented players. They they can do a lot of things. Um, like both of them, you can put into first five, second five, and centre, and they could do the same things they could do. They could also play fullback, and they could also play wing. They're just good utility back. So I thought that it would work out sort of the same way. Um, whereas it would always work out regardless of where you put them. Um, Austin, who's who is who is a first five. I thought along with him and those two in the back line, they'll be a lot more dominating than um, a lot more dominating around the competition. Um, and and at times they were, they had a lot of flashes of 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 um, things like that. And then they had guys like Latre who um, hired to as well, who's a, a sort of upper come player as well. And so I thought that maybe they would they would do a lot better and they would finish off games um that, that they should have. And like they finish off games like um I guess St. Pest Town they only lost by two points. Um they um they also lost by five to to Rotary World Boys. Um uh, the other one was um, against Todong as well, where they lost by two points. Um, Napier was another one where they lost by one point. So, like, these were all games where they could have really, um, you know, I thought they would be sort of closed out games and they'll be there, you know, um, uh, right there with every other team as well. And uh, it just didn't work like that. I, I mean, I mean, I personally don't know what happened. I wish I could... Um, seen more of the tapes of which they had of all the games of which they had 
but it's just, it just one of those feelings like Nairi um, obviously did his thing and as an open side and um, he had some injuries too so like you know it could have been that as well Sam Martinger was obviously there with you know Jared uh, brought in too was uh, you know just some big boys on the team like Tyler and and Gabe and and Jeremy um, Jacob as well as, as well as Quaid and so like they had all these talented players and it's just things that didn't work um, when it came down to it um, they um, Gisborne is like a weird kind of a strange kind of team um, in a in a in an area all by themselves but man they have so much good talent that comes out of there they always have so much good talent coming out of there for some reason. I'm not too sure why. Because they're away from kind of everybody. But they they just have that um, mentality of... Um, yeah, I'm not too sure how to explain it. But the, there's always... The, the boys having, they always have some kind of um, you know talent coming through. And then they end up shocking everybody about it, how good they actually are. And so this year I thought was one of them. I thought by... I thought, from my standard of, standpoint of what I thought they were going to be, um, they really fell off. And then I looked at it at the end of the year, and then I saw how good the Super 8 was and how close a lot of these games were. And I thought, actually, no, they did have a pretty good season. Um, maybe it's not up to the season the season of a normal of like what Gizmo's boys is used to, but you still got to look at the fact that um, obviously travel time is always going to be a part of it, um, travel time and distance and things like that. But they had a lot of good players come back and come through, and you know I thought that they did a lot for them as well. And so um, I mean, look at it—you got a New Zealand secondary school player out of um, Naira who uh, Naira who who was obviously one of the best open sides in the country, as well as Sam, who I thought. Um, Sam Martinger jumped out of nowhere from how, from what he was last year to how good he was this year. I thought he was just a beast, and and like I saw it, I mainly saw it uh, watching him in the Barbarians at how good he actually was. And so maybe he is going to be one of those guys that when it comes down to the twenties, he actually jumps the props that were you know in the New Zealand secondary schools kind of thing. Like he just looks like one of those kind of guys. Um, but yeah, like I, I don't know. Like I thought that um, uh, that they would be they 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 would be one of those teams that has a, um, one of those turnaround situations in terms of um, if they had pulled out these wins on a few of these games, it would be a different it would be a different story about how well the season was um, or how well they did. Because I thought the talent in the team one on one with a lot of teams in the country they that Gisborne would out you know that out talent them and and Gisborne do that they out they could probably almost out talent every team in the country man for man kind of thing that's just how they are that's just how good the talent is coming out of Gisborne boys and so it's just one of those things um but they did have some good ones like obviously that one against Wellington. Right in the beginning, uh, I thought that was that was like a really good win by them, um, and even though they lost the first two games um, of the season, and then they went on to uh, beat Silverstream, they beat Wellington, they beat Palmy, and then they tripped up big time against Sacred Heart, um, and then that kind of started it off because then they went on to lose against Napier, Rotorua, Hastings. And then came back against St. Peter's College, which I thought was a really big win for them. And so, um, uh, yeah, it's just one of those things with um, Gisborne boys. And next year will be the same as well. They're just going to bring back a lot of talent. And it just depends, I guess, in the way that they uh, put it together. They sort it out and find that game plan that works for these guys. Um, and the type of talent that they have. Um, uh, yeah, that's that's my review. I mean... Uh, I look forward to seeing what they have next year, and to bring and to see what they bring back. I mean, Moses Christie is a, a big time player that's going to be back, and uh, Tyron and Sione and T will all be, uh, I guess, 
um, solid starters um, in the in the first 15 next year. And so it'll be cool to see what it looks like when they come back. Um, but that's my review for these guys. Gizmo boys. Peace.